good morning students 1106 so in this class we are going to discuss about types of error so the error in the measurement we are doing some experiment you are doing some measurement there is a uncertainty in the measurement so there is a error that is uncertainty means error there are three types of error that is systematic error random error and cross error so systematic error means reproducible inaccuracies that are consistently in the same direction so you are using one tape that is length of the tape is 1 meter so the tape is made up of some elastic material you are using for 6 months or 1 year the length may be increased to 5 cm that is the length is 1.05 meter so it is increased by 5 cm using this 1 meter tape you are missing something there should be a error so that error is due to the inaccuracies that is reproducible in the same direction there are consistently you are doing so you need to find the error then only you can come out from the systematic error so that persists throughout the experiment if it is a problem in the measurement so if your instrument is wrong means your result also wrong so that is it persists throughout the experiment so the next instrumental error so inside the systematic error the first one instrumental error that is error in the instrument itself so the calibration is wrongly calibra calibrated so for example <coughs> you are taking some three types of scales so company a and b and c so company a produces 15 cm scale just cross check with the all the things so again 1 meter that is 1 cm 2 cm 3 cm so what is the variations so maybe so the scale b may be 14.9 cm equal to 15 cm so there is a wrong calibration in the instrument itself so you need to choose the correct instrument <coughs> then some scales are edges are worn out if you are using this scale the uh, result will be wrong the next imperfection in experimental technique or procedure so your procedure is wrong your technique is wrong your result should be wrong so the limitations in the experimental arrangements for example calorimeter so no proper insulation so calorimeter means so if it is a calorimeter means if i place something with hot at 100 degrees celsius so if it is closed <coughs> is some material it's properly insulated so it is at 100 degrees celsius after a long time so there is no contaction so there is no contaction with the surrounding so the no heat is enter into the system no heat is come out from the system that is calorimeter if no proper insulation means the result will be wrong so you need to follow the correct technique and procedure the next personal error so due to the person or a individual so incorrect initial setting <coughs> or carelessness in the observation due to the improper precautions so personal error is due to the individual than incorrect initial setting so some experiments need some horizontal surface so you need to use a spirit level then careless in observation so you need to observe the correct value if you are seeing uh, the readings in a straight line most straight line your eye contact and the reading should be straight if you see in if you are seeing like that left hand side and right hand side your reading will vary from 0.1 to 0.2 cm so carelessness is should be avoided to avoid the personal error then due to external causes <coughs> changes in the external conditions during the experiment so changes in temperature changes in humidity changes in pressure and so on so so if you are doing some experiment you are measuring the temperature something a hot pot is filled with something it's 100 degree i am placing a thermometer so i am going to measure every every 2 minutes i am measuring the temperature of this liquid so i am doing the experiment at the summer season i get one result i am the same experiment is done in the rainy season the result will be varied because there is a change that is a humidity there is a changes in the humidity then changes in the temperature so it causes the result as error <coughs> the next least count error so the error due to the least count of the instrument so i am measuring a something <coughs> using a scale i get the result 9.5 cm the same thing is measuring using some other instrument for example uh, vernier caliper i get 9.54 cm so the result somewhat varies so due, due to the least count so you need to choose a high precision instrument to reduce the least count error then so these are the five things are come under systematic error the next random error so the random error is due to the random and unpredictable variation in experimental conditions like pressure temperature voltage source so you are measuring something using some meter so there is a voltage change so you are seeing through the digital digital meter so you are seeing something so voltage source is somewhat changes 
so the readings would be some changes so that is unpredictable variation in the experimental condition like pressure temperature so there is a random error then you are doing randomly so i am checking the thickness of this thickness of this chalk paste at different places that's randomly i am choosing i get different readings so that is thickness of some wire using a screw cage or vernier caliper so you need to reduce you need to do more so more number of readings you get take the arithmetic mean you will get the somewhat correct answer so you need to reduce the random error you need to do more times you get the more values than just analyze it you will get the arithmetic mean you will get the correct result and final one cross error so the reading of the instrument without setting it properly so again the setting proper so taking the observation in wrong manner without bothering the precautions so precautions means i am doing a simple pendulum experiment so there is a oscillation of a pendulum so taking observation in wrong manner without bothering the precautions so while doing the simple pendulum experiment you need to switch off the fan so the pendulum oscillates the fans there is a air so there is a pressure there is a oscillation is somewhat restricted due to the fan so there is a result also changes so the error in the experiment is due to the fan so that is a external cause so then reading of a instrument without setting it properly so without setting it properly means in a simple pendulum the wire should be straight there is no notches so if there is anything the result will be wrong so you need to follow everything then using wrong values in the calculation so you are choosing a wrong value you are doing the experiment wrong you will get the wrong result you will get the wrong also wrong results so the next observation should be careful and alert so to reduce the cross error you need to observe more careful and alert then so in this class we have discussed systematic error so inside the systematic error five things are there we are discussed so instrumental error imperfection in the experimental technique or procedure personal error due to the external causes then least count error then random error that is due to random and unpredictable variations then final one cross error so they are repeatedly asking in five marks as well as three marks so what are the types of errors the are explained systematic errors so okay students thank you